after watching different methods or ways on how to solve quadratic equations, we have the extracting the square root, we have the greatest common factor, we have factoring in the form x squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, in the form ax squared plus bx plus z is equal to zero, completing the square and quadratic formula. What if your teacher asks you to solve this problem? x squared plus 7x plus 10 is equal to zero. What method you're going to use? Can we use extracting the square root? If we're going to extract the square root, we will have square root of 7x. That will become more complicated. So x for extracting the square root. How about factoring GCF, greatest common factor? In this case, we don't have a common factor. So x for the greatest common factor. How about factoring in the form x squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero? Okay, we can use that. Factors of 10, that the sum must be equal to seven. So that is x plus five, x plus two. Five times two, that is 10. Five plus two, that is seven. And our values for x sub one will be negative five, x sub 2 will be negative 2. Okay. This will be the values for x. To check, okay, how to check? Someone asked me in the comment section, sir, how can I check my answer? So all you need to do is to substitute the value of x. We have, let's say, negative 5. So negative 5 squared plus... 7 times negative 5 plus 10 is equal to 0. So this expression must be equal to 0. Negative 5 squared, that is positive 25. 7 times negative 5, negative 35. Plus 10, just copy, is equal to 0. So 25 minus 35, this is negative 10. Plus 10 is equal to 0. Negative 10 plus 10, 0 is equal to 0. If this is equal to 0, or if the equation is balanced, 0 is equal to 0, then your answer is correct. You can also apply using negative. Okay. Factoring x squared plus bx plus z is equal to 0. Use this one. Can I use completing this square? Okay, let us check. What if I I will use the completing the square? So x squared plus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. So our first step is transpose. So x squared plus 7x plus blank is equal to negative 10 plus blank. What will be the value of our third term? So 7 divided by 2, then we need to square. 7 squared, that is 49, over 2 squared, 4. So 49 over 4. We added 49 over 4 on the left side. We're going to add 49 over 4 on the right side. Okay. Then this will become x, copy the sign of the middle term, plus square root of 49, 7 over square root of 4, 2. Then square. If you want to master completing this square, please watch your lesson number 4.
Then simplify LCD is 4. So this will become negative negative 10 times 4. That will be negative 40 plus 49. Now we have x plus 7 over 2. This copy square is equal to, let us simplify. This will become 7 over, uh, sorry, negative 40 plus 49, that is positive 9 over 4. Now, we need to eliminate this square. So we need to extract this square root. Cancel. So x plus 7 over 2 is equal to positive, negative, 9 and 4 are perfect square numbers. 3 over 2. Square root of 9, that's why we have 3. Square root of 4, that's why we have 2. And x is equal to positive, negative, 3 over 2, transpose, negative 7 over 2. Now, let us simplify. x is equal to, let us use first the positive, positive 3 over 2 minus 7 over 2, that is for x sub 1. And for x sub 2, this time we have the negative 3 over 2, copy minus 7 over 2. Now, we have the same denominator, so just copy the denominator, which is 2. 3 minus 7, that is negative 4. And... Negative 4 divided by 2, that is negative 2. The other one, similar fraction, so copy denominator, and negative 3 minus 7, negative 10. Simplify, this is negative 5. Which is the same, the same answers, if you use the factoring in the form x squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. How about our last method, the quadratic equation? Okay. Hey, okay, let's check. Our formula is x is equal to negative b positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. If you want to master the quadratic, solving quadratic equation by, solving quadra quadratic equation by quadratic formula, kindly watch our tutorial video at lesson 5. So x is equal to negative, our b is 7. 7, positive negative square root of 7 square minus 4 times A is 1. C is 10. All over 2 times A is 1. In that case, 1. Now we have negative 7, positive negative square root of 7 square 49 minus 4 times 1 times 10 that is 40 all over 2. Let us simplify negative 7 positive negative square root of 9 over 2. 9 because 49 minus 40 that is 9. 9 is a perfect square number, so negative 7, positive negative, square root of 9 is 3, over 2. And now, for our x sub 1, 
we have negative 7. Let's get the positive of 3 over 2. And for x sub 2, negative 7, the negative 7, this time the negative 3 all over 2. Is it still visible? Okay. Negative, negative. So, negative 7 plus 3, this is negative 4 over 2. And negative 4 over 2 is negative 2. And the other one, negative 7 minus 3, negative 10 divided by 2, which is negative 5. So all the answers are still the same, whether or what method you're going to use. So that is the relationship between the factoring techniques, completing the square, and the quadratic formula. Once again, thank you for watching, Senior Pablo.